English speaking course. It's Chinese food. Do you want to eat more? No, not at all. I'm full. Please try it. It tastes great. Okay, okay. Try what? Try this dish. Well, they look delicious. Thank you. But what dish is this? Try it and you will know. No, thank you. It looks kind of strange. No, it's very delicious. What exactly are those green things? They're called green onions. What are the long things? It's noodles. Here, try it. Oh, no. Thank you. Oh, please. But you have to tell me where is this from? Guess. Hmm, this is Italian food? No, it's Chinese food, not a Western one. Really? It doesn't look like a Chinese dish. That's right, this is Chinese food, and I spent a lot of time cooking it. All right, I'll try it. Australia Day. Hey, Mark, listen, I'm researching festivals. So what? You can take a snow bath at a snow festival. In which nation is the snow festival held? I'm researching the one in Canada. Snow festivals are also held in China and Japan. I know, but sorry, I'm not interested in it. Why? We may travel to Canada. Ah, thank you. In our little town, we enjoy wonderful festivals and holidays as well. But it's not the big festivals. We have the 4th of July. We have the small town post office holiday. Then? It's not a big holiday. We don't have a big party. All right. Let's plan a great celebration for our town. Yeah. I love it. Show me which festival you researched. Take a look. It's impossible. Cockroach races? Yes. Every January 26, Australians have cockroach races. January 26 is Australia Day, right? Yeah, right. That's the country's birthday. When is the birthday of a small town? I don't know. Anyway, that may be our enjoyable event. Yeah, I can start looking for cockroaches. Oh, hey, Sarah, how are you? Great, thanks. And how was school? Great, we're giving presentations at several globe festivals. My presentation is scheduled for next week. Which festival will you discuss? Quebec's Winter Carnival. Oh, wow, great, I can help you. You might also present Australia Day and discuss the cockroach races. I can assist you. I found some cockroaches. What? It sounds weird. Well, when is Quebec's Winter Carnival? The last month of February. It is the world's largest winter carnival. There are many cultural events and they have a night parade. Oh, whoa, so cool. You're all set for your presentation. You have obviously done a lot of research, right? Sure. So what were you talking about? Simon wants to hold a festival in his hometown. A festival? Yeah, what do you think? I think that's a great idea. We can have a fast-talking competition. Sarah would win. Yeah, I can also organize cockroach races. What? I have my box of cockroaches right here. Simon, how many cockroaches do you think are in there? Let me see. Four cockroaches. Do you want to see it? No, thanks. What are you looking for? I am looking for a package. Is the package big? 
It is not a big package. Okay, tell me what's your name? Simon Way. Okay, let me see. Hmm, this is strange. What's wrong? I don't see your name on this list. Really? Are you certain? Yes, but I will check it again. Yes, check again. Oh, here it is. Great. Wait, this isn't my package. It's for Simon Monroe. Sorry, can you tell me your name again? My name is Simon Way. Oh, sorry. Well, your package isn't in this bag. That's impossible. I'm sure it's here. Sorry, I can't find it. What's in the package? Nothing special. Sorry, Simon, but your package isn't here. Mail service is slow sometimes. Okay, I got it. Another mail truck will come this afternoon. Come back before 4 p.m. Okay, I got it. Thank you, Betty. Why don't you stamp the letter? Hey, have you been to the post office? Yes, I just got to the post office. So you received the package, right? No, it isn't there yet. Oh, that's bad. Anyway, do you want to go eat lunch? Sure. Great idea. Then I'll be back at the post office after 4 p.m. Okay, this afternoon, I also need to send a letter. Can I give them to you? Sure, give me. Here. But wait, why didn't you stamp the letter? Is it necessary? Yeah, without stamps, you will not be able to send the letter. Oh, I got it. Can you buy it for me? Yes, I will buy it for you. How many stamps now? They cost 41 cents each. Okay, and I think your package be there when you go back. I hope too. What package? Nothing special. It's just something fun? Something fun? I'm very curious about that. When Simon gets it, he'll show you. Okay. I like getting packages and letters. My friends write a letter to me every month. Why don't you use email? I like finding letters in my mailbox. Hey, I just received a text from Betty. What did she say? She said she found your package. Really? Oh, that's great. Where is it? Alaska. What? Alaska? Why is it in Alaska? I don't know. Did Betty say anything else? Betty also said the sender sent it to the wrong address. The post office tracked your package. Okay, I got it. Hey, Betty, come here. Your package is currently in Alaska. I know. So when will I receive my package? I'm not sure. Maybe after five days? I'm curious what's in that package. I ordered some girls' exercise DVDs. DVDs? Girls' exercise? Yeah, they have great exercises for my back. Why is your face so red? I'm so embarrassed because the DVDs are for women. It's okay. I use girls' exercise too. Really? Yes, we can work out together. Okay, I need to go. I still have mail to deliver. Goodbye, see ya. Wait, buddy, I want to send this letter. Why doesn't it have a stamp? I have stamps, I'll give you one. Thanks. Here you go, buddy. All these cards have addresses and return addresses. Thanks for waiting. No problem. What do people really mean? Hello, Mari. How are you feeling? Not bad, thank you. Is anyone sitting here? No, have a seat. Thanks! So, how are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm busy. I have to go to school and work. Plus, I'm preparing for my brother's wedding next month. Congratulations on your brother's wedding. Thank you very much. 
Is the wedding huge? Oh yes, it's gonna be a huge wedding. Great! Hey Nancy, over here. Hi guys, who is that? This is Yolanda, she works in the library. Yolanda, this is Nancy. She is my roommate, she teaches English here. It's nice to meet you, Yolanda. Nice to meet you too. Sorry, but I have to leave in 10 minutes to get to work. Mari, I'll see you soon. We'll go to the movies or something. Sure, why don't we go to the movies on Thursday night? Okay, I have to check my calendar. I will call you later. Okay, see you later. See ya. What do you like to do for fun? Hello, Dan. How are things going with you? Much the same as usual. Thanks for caring, mate. Hey, I've been listening to your new songs. So cool. Thanks. Anyway, did you come to our show last night? Sure, I was. So, Mari, how was your night at the club? Yeah, it was pretty wild. I'd love it. What were your thoughts about our band? Well, your band is awesome. But honestly, the music was too loud for me. I prefer jazz. Really? Do you go to concerts much? No, I don't go often. As you know, tickets to concerts are very expensive. Yeah, I get what you mean. So, what do you enjoy doing for fun? I enjoy visiting different ethnic restaurants and sampling new foods. What is your favorite type of food? Japanese food, obviously. So, how about you? I'm not a big fan of sushi or sashimi. But I love Mexican food. Well, I kinda hate beans and cheese. What about Indian cuisine? No, it's too spicy. Do you enjoy American cuisine? Hamburgers, hot dogs, and french fries. All that fat, salt, and sugar. So you don't like American food? No, not really. I just don't like fast food. They are not good for health. Do you like cooking? Yes, I do. That's one of my interests all the time. What do you think about modern art? Well, I prefer paintings from the 19th century. You've heard of Monet, Van Gogh, and Renoir, right? Yes, they are very famous painters. Okay, so what are your thoughts on sports? Are you a fan of American football? No, basketball is my favorite sport. It's all right. To clone or not to clone? Your puppy is very lovely. How old is he, Nancy? Eleven. This dog is quite old. Yes, I like him a lot. I would be deeply saddened if he went. Hmm, you can clone him. You're kidding, aren't you? Oh, I'm just joking. However, did you know scientists in Korea have cloned a dog? I saw a picture of it in Time Magazine. I've heard of cloned sheep, mice, and rabbits, but not pets such as dogs. Do you know a company in California offers a pet cloning service for $15,000? You can have an exact copy of your pet. This scared me quite a bit. Why are you scared? They will begin cloning humans. No way. I don't think that'll happen. I think cloning will be used in positive ways, like saving endangered species. That's also a good idea. For example, they may preserve the giant panda and other creatures from extinction. Oh, 
Oh, and I also heard that scientists would be able to clone bodily parts. You know, just grow a new heart or a new tooth. Uh-huh. That's stem cell research, which is similar to cloning. I think a lot of medical problems are going to be solved with that. Yeah, I think so. It can help us live longer, or they can help your dog live longer, right? A baby shower. Hello, Mari. Hello, Jeff. Hey, I just received an email from Nancy. What is the email about? Join us for a baby shower, honoring Nancy Anderson on April 5th at 11 a.m. That's great that you received the invitation. Yes. But what exactly is a baby shower? You know, it's a party for a woman who's going to have a baby. It's sort of like a baby welcoming ceremony? Yeah, right. It's a party, then why do you call it a shower? Bathing the woman with children's gifts. Get it? Yes, I see. See you next time. May I help you? Thanks, we're just looking. Please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. What do you think of these jeans? They're really nice. How much are they? Hmm, there's no price tag. Where's the salesperson? I'm going to ask her. Oh, there she is. Excuse me, how much are these jeans? Okay, let's see. They were $29, but I think today they're 30% off. Can I try them on? Sure. The fitting rooms are right over there. Just go on in. Thanks a lot. Lynn, how do I look? They're perfect. Oh, they look very nice on you. Great, I'll take them. Can I pay by credit card, please? Sure. See you next time. Have a good time. I just bought a ticket to Brazil. I'm so excited to explore the country. Good for you. Traveling is so much fun. I also love discovering new places and new people. When are you leaving? Next week, I'm taking the red eye. The red eye? Yeah, the latest flight overnight. It was cheaper. Hopefully, I'll be able to sleep on the plane. I wish I could go with you. Brazil is a magical place. You will have so much fun. I hope so. I'm going to visit my brother who lives in Rio de Janeiro. I will stay for a week and then take the train down to Sao Paulo. Great plan. Have a good time. He has a bad headache. Hey, where is Bobby? He can't come today. Poor guy. What's up? He told me he's free this evening. He has a bad headache. Oh, he was still fine when I met him this morning. What happened to him? I don't know. Maybe he has the flu. Yeah, the weather now is so terrible. Last week, I also had a fever. Yeah, this is his favorite movie. What a pity. Did he see a doctor? Not yet. But he bought some medicine at a drugstore near his house. 
Hope he gets better soon. Yes, this weekend we also have a field trip. It was nice meeting you. Excuse me. Hi. Is this the station to wait for the train to Austin? Yeah, a train to Austin just left five minutes ago. Oh, a night. Another one will come in 20 minutes. Okay, I see. Which train are you waiting for? I am waiting for the train to Houston. Oh, I lived in Houston for five years. It is a beautiful place to live. Yeah, that is my hometown. I am a doctor there. Wow, it is also my husband's hometown. He is also a doctor. Oh, maybe we know each other. Let's grab a drink sometime. Sure, that's great. There's my train now. Well, it was nice meeting you. Nice to meet you too. What do you need? How can I help you? I am just looking around. If you need any help, feel free to let me know. Sure. Can you help me please? Yeah, what do you need? Does this one have a bigger size? Let me check. Give me a minute, please. Okay, thank you. Unfortunately, that item just has one size. Mm. We have other items that come in three sizes. Do you want to take a look at them? Yes, please. What do you have in blue? Sure, let me show you. Get ready to go to school. Wake up, Tony. Get ready to go to school. What time is it, Mommy? It's 7 a.m. You should get up now or you will be late. But I'm so sleepy. Wash your face and brush your teeth. Then you may feel better. Okay, can you please help me do my bed? Only today. Thank you, Mommy. Then go downstairs. Daddy is preparing breakfast for us. Great, what will we have? One of your favorite dishes, quickly. Okay, I'll be ready in 10 minutes. Good job. Can you help me? Excuse me, can you help me? Yeah, what's up? I'm looking for the Riverside restaurant, but I think I got lost. That restaurant was closed three months ago. Oh my God. I saw it had great feedback online, so I planned a date there. I'm so sorry. Is there any Italian restaurant on this street? No, not on this street. But I know one on the next street. Oh, that's great. Can you give me the name and directions to there, please? Sunshine Restaurant. You head to the crossroad and then turn left. It is next to the playground. Thanks so much. I just made it. What are you doing, sweetie? Daddy, look at this. Wow, a beautiful flower. Did you make it? Yeah, I just made it. 
I want to give it to Mom on Mother's Day. Ah, oh, you are so sweet. Mommy will be very happy. I hope she likes it. She will, trust me. Who taught you to make it? Teacher Jane. She's my homeroom teacher. Great. Do you want me to help? I think not. I just want to make it by myself. Thanks, Daddy. Okay. If you need my help, let me know. I'll be over there. Okay. My watch is broken. Do you want to go shopping with me this weekend? Sure, if you want. What do you want to buy? I just want to look around. Are you sure? I want to look at some watches. But you have a watch, don't you? Yeah, but it's broken. Do you want to repair it? I know a good watchmaker. Maybe he can help. That's great. We can go to him first. If you can't fix it, I think I need to buy a new one. Okay, I will pick you up this weekend. Great. See you then. His luck took a turn. Matt, you're back. How was your vacation? You're so lucky. I want to visit London too. It was so so. His luck took a turn. What do you mean? It rained all three days. Oh my god. Did you have any chance to visit tourist spots? Just Big Ben. Then I stayed in the hotel the rest of the time like a hermit. Well, at least you saw Big Ben. Did you get any photos? Yeah. See, I just took photos from my hotel balcony. Wow. Though it was raining, the view was incredible. Yeah. London is very beautiful. I will go back one day. Remember to check the weather forecast next time. What's new? How was your vacation? It was wonderful. It sounds great. Where did you go first? I started the trip in Madrid. It is a beautiful city. But I think I should start in Paris. I have been to Paris. What's new? You're quite busy some recent days. Yeah, I got a new job. Why did you quit your previous job? I loved it at first, but everything changed. <laughs> I was not allowed to do the things I was interested in, so I quit. That's good for you, but you should spend more time on yourself. I know. Everything will be under control soon. Pretty good. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Yourself? I'm okay. I haven't seen you in a while. Yes, it has been a long time. How long has it been since we last saw each other? I think that we last saw each other three years ago. What have you been doing for the past three years? I have been going to graduate school. 
What are you majoring in? I am studying the science of psychology. You should easily be able to find a job with that major. I hope so. What about you? I have run my own small business. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for a more useful video. Thank for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for a more useful video.